Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and this absolutely freaking enormous box here holds the Lenovo Legion Jewel, an absolute beefcake of a game and smartphone set to take on the likes of the Asus ROG Phone 3. Here in Blighty it'll set you back 899 bob and yeah that's a serious chunk of change but you get some super premium specs and some very smart gaming features packed in there. So let's whip it out of the box, take you on a full on tour of the hardware and the software and all of those great gaming features and I'm going to benchmark the performance as well and for more of the latest greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! I'm liking the look of this tricksy box. This is very cool. And then this kind of opens up. Oh! <laughs> and your phone falls out to the accompaniment of very dramatic music. So hang on, I think I did that ever so slightly wrong. I think you're supposed to open it up this way. There you go. It's a bit more effective when the phone doesn't just flop its way out of the box. Where on earth is that sound actually coming from anyway? It's one of those cards where you open it up and it sings happy birthday to you and scares the living shit out of you. Anyway, let's check out what you actually get inside of that musical box. So you've got one rigid plastic case to help protect the edges and the back end of the Lenovo Legion Jewel. You've got a very beefy PSU. Uh, of course, this is the European model because it's a European review sample. You've got a Type-C to Type-C USB charging cable. You've got another Type-C to Type-C USB charging cable. You've got a Type-C to 3.5mm headphone adapter. And then of course you've got the actual smartphone itself. And there we have it in all of its glory, the Lenovo Legion Jewel. Definitely, unmistakably, a gaming smartphone through and through. Now first impressions of the Legion Jewel, definitely a very chunky, hefty device, but that's pretty commonplace for all gaming smartphones out there, including the likes of the ROG Phone 3. You can grab the Legion Jewel in a couple of different finishes, blazing blue or this here, Vengeance Red effort very dramatic indeed and I love the sort of rainbow hue flash of neon that uh, pops out of that back end when you sort of tilt it to the light. And that arse end is constructed from glass already getting quite smudgy as you can see there uh, but at least you do have the two mottled uh, edges basically where you would grip the phone while you're gaming and that'll just help to prevent the phone from slipping around. And you've got to love that slogan as well stylish outside savage inside just like my good self in fact. I love how that red coloration carries around to the front as well just in these narrow little streaks uh, where the stereo speakers are found and there's lots of fine detail and on here as well it's definitely a very interesting smartphone to look at. Now let's pop on open the Lenovo Legion Jewel's SIM tray and see what we got inside there. So a very simple straightforward affair as you can see it is a reversible SIM tray so you can pack two SIM cards in there at once but there's no micro SD memory card support. Thankfully you can get up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage that's right half a terabyte packed inside of this beefy wee bugger and it's UFS 3.1 as well so it should be nice and fast and energy efficient. Okay so the Lenovo Legion Jewel is all set up and ready for action and the first thing you'll notice when you boot it up is that you You've got basically a stock version of Android on here, but Lenovo has slathered on its Legion OS as it terms it. And what this does is it basically gives everything a funkified gaming sort of aesthetic. The default wallpaper unfortunately is a bit sort of dull and nondescript really, but if you dive on into the wallpaper section you've got lots of brighter efforts that you can choose between. And a good bit of dynamic wallpaper action as well, so let's get this one on the go. Oh, very nice. And then when you power up the Legion Jewel, you'll see that animation spring to life. Very cool indeed. And of course, you do have that in-display fingerprint sensor as well. There's no face unlock here on the Legion Jewel, probably because of the uh, slightly unique selfie camera arrangement. More on that in a bit. Quite liking the icon design on the uh, the Legion Jewel as well. Quite a funky effect to it, almost sort of industrial. But the rest of the phone will be very familiar to any Android fans. You've got your usual, your notification bar, which you can drag onto screen like so. You've got your apps tray. Uh, thankfully, not much in the way of crapware on here as well. It's mostly just the stock Google stuff. And any Motorola fans out there will be loving the fact that you've got the same uh, gesture support on it the Legion Jewel as you do on most Motorola smartphones so chop twice for flashlight and also the double wrist twist to load up that camera tech. And of course because the Legion Jewel is a gaming smartphone naturally you've got lots of great gaming features packed in there as well which we'll touch on in a bit. So whenever you're kicking back with a game or just enjoying a couple of movies or Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever you can enjoy it all on a gorgeous 6.65 inch AMOLED display with a full HD plus resolution. By default, the colours are set to natural in the display settings, but you can boost them up to make them look more vibrant as well if you prefer more vivid, poppy image. 
And certainly in that default state, visuals are very lifelike, helped along by the gorgeous contrast because of course OLED always excels in that area. And because it's OLED tech, you also get the likes of the always on display feature as well, the uh, small selection of different options. And of course, gaming smartphones, you'd expect to come pack in a fast refresh rate as well. And certainly no disappointment here on the Lenovo Legion Dual. As you can see, it's set to 90 hertz by default, being boosted up to 120 or even 144 hertz, just like on the ROG Phone 2. And while there doesn't appear to be an auto refresh option here on the Legion Dual, there is at least an option to immediately bump up that refresh rate to 144 hertz whenever you start a game. And before we move on from the display as well, it's also worth pointing out that in those display settings, you'll find the lighten effect as well, where basically you can control that flashy LED logo slapped around the back end. You can actually use this as a uh, notifications light whenever you've got incoming calls or messages. You can change up exactly the color that it flashes as well. And you can also get an LED effect on the go while you're gaming, either have it dynamically adapt to whatever's happening in the game. Otherwise, you can have it breathing, flashing, uh, going in waves, all sorts of stuff. And the Legion also boasts dual front facing stereo speakers. And boy, do they pack a punch. Bump that volume all the way up to the maximum level and your facial region will be blasted with crisp, clear stereo audio. Now the Legion Jewel has its very own gaming mode known as the Legion Realm and to enter this you'll want to press the dual ultrasonic shoulder buttons, which aren't actually buttons, they're just uh, sort of force feedback haptic efforts up top. As you can see there, they're completely flush with the surface, you don't actually push them in or anything, just give them a light tap and they are completely touch sensitive. And when you enter the Legion realm, you'll have fast access to all of your games. As you can see, I've just got Call of Duty Mobile installed at the moment, and you'll also be able to access uh, settings for when you're actually playing games. And you can also access various game settings while you're in the game as well, just drag your finger down from the top end of the display, and as you can see there, you exactly how much GPU and CPU usage is going on. Gives you a rundown of the quality of your Wi-Fi connection as well, which is of course very, very useful when playing games like PUBG and Call of Duty, where they are online shooters. Lots of other useful info being fed back here as well, including the current time, in case you suddenly realize, oh crap, I should have picked up my son from school 20 minutes ago. Got the actual internal temperature of the phone there as well, make sure it's not getting too hot, especially if you're charging it at the same time. And the battery life as well, definitely a good one, again, if you like your extended gaming sessions. And you've also got access to various other gaming features on here as well, including the ability to set up a controller, for instance, get a screenshot action on the go, actually record your action. And if you are recording as well, you can get a bit of streaming on the go with a quick tap up there. And as you can see, that's where the selfie camera is scrolled away, actually on the edge of the device. That would definitely be a good one for capturing my reaction every time a horde of school children mow me down in cold blood. And you've also got a quad mic arrangement here on the Lenovo Legion Jewel as well, so your voice will clearly be picked up if you're providing a bit of commentary or simply yelling at your mates mid-game. And rounding off those features, you can also control the haptics, you can clean up the memory if for whatever reason the Legion Jewel is struggling with the game, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. You've got notifications blocking, and then it likes the WhatsApp support as well. So when you're gaming with the Legion Phone Jewel, you don't actually need to use a separate controller because you've got a gorgeous 240 hertz touch response rate. That means that every poke and swipe instantly is replicated there on the screen. And with those haptic shoulder buttons as well, you get a good bit of force feedback. It's very, very handy for games like Call of Duty. So you can aim with the left trigger, shoot with the right, very responsive. And I found that these shoulder buttons work just as well as the uh, equivalent on the likes of the ROG phones, the Red Magic, stuff like that. Still not a proper uh, replacement for actual shoulder buttons but definitely does the job. You've also got two very strong rumble mortars packed inside of the Lenovo Legion Jewel as well, which offers some extreme feedback as well when you are playing a supported game. Sadly, Call of Duty is not one of those supported games. Now, performance on the Lenovo Legion Jewel is provided by Qualcomm's mighty, magnificent Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. That's its most powerful, most capable platform right now, used by the likes of the ROG Phone 3, but not many other devices, uh, although it will be superseded by the 875 which is going to launch next month. Probably won't see phones actually packing that for another few months though. And with up to 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM packed inside of this thing, it was no surprise that when I did my benchmarking with Call of Duty, even on those maxed out graphic settings, it maintained 60 frames per second consistently and reliably great stuff. In further good news, I found that the liquid cooling system definitely did its job. The Lenovo Legion Jewel did not get even a little bit toasty, even when I was gaming on Call of Duty for a good hour or so. Now, if you're halfway through a Call of Duty Duty match and you get the dreaded low battery warning, something like that. No worries, as long as you've got your charger on hand, you can actually plug it in on the side 
of the Lenovo Legion Joe. So as you can see there, you can continue gaming without having a cable jutting into your hand and really disrupting you. Now as for the battery tech itself, it's actually a 5,000 milliamp capacity battery, but it's not just one battery, it's two batteries. So it's actually split into two separate batteries with 2,500 milliamp capacity each. And you may remember when we were checking out the contents of the Legion Joel's box, there are actually two USB cables in there. That's because there is actually a second USB charging port down here on the bottom end of the Legion Joel. If you plug in a second USB cable at the same time, as you can see, it then enters dual charging mode and you can get a full charge of that 5,000 milliamp battery in just 30 bloody minutes. Absolutely freaking mental. And last up, let's just finish up this unboxing of the Lenovo Legion Joel gaming smartphone with a quick squint at the dual lens rear camera tech. And what you get here is a 64 megapixel primary lens backed by a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle. And the camera app is pretty straightforward stuff. You can snap away as merrily as you like you can drag down on this bad boy to swap to that ultra wide angle lens at any time looks like the uh, color temperature is a little bit warmer with that one but that's pretty much standard and as usual you've got a whole heap of camera features that you can play around with including a portrait mode just to keep your uh, Totoro nice and sharp and blur out the background you've also of course got the likes of a night mode uh, which just takes lots of different shots at different exposure levels and then melds them together for a nicely more balanced result and of course the proper pro controls as well if you want to uh, mess around with the likes of the white balance to shut the speed, the ISO levels, your good self. As for video, well you should be able to shoot up to 4K resolution footage. Let's just dive on into the settings and check. So 1080p by standard BA, you can jump that up to 4K resolution if you like. And then of course if you want to uh, get a bit of selfie action on the go, you have to pop out that, uh, that camera and turn it into good old portrait mode and away you go. Smile. And as ever, definitely that one is a keeper. And that right there in a nutshell is the Lenovo Legion Joel, an absolutely fantastic beefcake of a gaming smartphone with top end performance thanks to that 865 Plus chipset and some really strong gaming features on there to rival the likes of the ROG Phone 3, the Red Magics and all that other good stuff. So it'd be great to hear your own personal thoughts about the Legion down below and for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you.